All right, students, we want to do something fun for you guys. Uh, so Ben and I, we got together and we did some brainstorming, and we six put, feet apart. Yeah, we're we're about six feet apart, give or take. Can we touch each other, Ben? No, good. So we, we can't touch each other. We can sneeze on each other. That's disgusting, but we're not going to do that. Didn't they do like a sports science on that, like a 30-foot radius? Yeah, I think a sneeze can travel like 30 feet, so disgusting. But we have an argument, a debate that we want to get down to the bottom of while you're at home. Some fun content for you to watch. We are going to be discussing today which is, what game, I should say, is the top youth group game. And so we actually have a bracket that we've come up with. Ben and I have decided, we've argued and debated the top eight games. These are the top eight games that we think make the bracket. And we're going to debate these. In the number one seed, the what we think is the, the top dog is nine square in the air. It's going to be going up versus the eight seed, the hula hoop, rock, paper, scissors game. You've seen us play that game. We have a line of hula hoops. You play rock, paper, scissors. Winner advances. Loser gets out. And the next person goes. The number four seed is kickball, and the number five seed is capture the flag or capture the ball as we've played as well. Just so you know, uh, with kickball, we do all different variations and stuff. We couldn't put them all on here, so we're summarizing it as Yeah, kickball. there's kickball, there's couple couples kickball, there's backwards crazy kickball, all that stuff. Benny, what about that side of the bracket? We have the number two seed dodgeball because it's, it's pretty much a crowd favorite against uh, as Nate put it, flicker ball. That's a tight ball. The, the correct pronunciation is flicker ball. It's where you play, you essentially play basketball with a football. Um, castle ball is a newer game we've been trying, where you set the hula hoops up into a, a castle, you know, to protect that and knock the other teams down. And the uh, the now classic ultimate frisbee. Can you believe when we were in school, like that was a newer thing? Yeah. And now it's just old classic. Yeah. These are games that we have played on a regular basis. Right, either in venture and quest. We're gonna start with the number one seed, nine square, versus the number eight seed, hula hoop, rock, paper, scissors. The hula hoop game is one that went viral, right? The hula hoop game, that was one that we found online. We found that via Facebook. Like, I think everybody's mother, aunt, and uncle tagged me on Facebook and was like, yo, play this with the teenagers. This could be a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, I don't, this could be a toss up. What do you think? We have to give the eight seeds some credit. It's fun, uh, anybody can play it. You don't have to have like superb athletic, you know, athletic ability to, to be able to play it. But I think we can all appreciate nine square, every man for himself. You can gang up on somebody when everybody wants to get you out or me out or someone else. Yeah, and, and there's nothing like seeing someone in nine square, you know, who's a tall athletic guy Who's re who, yeah, who's you really good. The same thing I am? Yeah, that, like there's a couple people I'm thinking of uh, who I could call you out on this video, but I'm not gonna do that. But you know who. You but are. you know who you are when you get into nine square and you're like, I'm gonna get Nate and Ben out, and then you go to spike it and you completely biff it, and then you're out. That's that's one of those things that makes nine square so good. So the hula hoop game though is good as well because I've seen even like the youngest of students beat top dogs and anybody has a chance to win whereas nine square even though a crowd favorite like if you're a little shorter you might be you know under the gun a little bit with that all right let's quit the uh, the good cop act uh it's a dog eat dog world yeah uh nine square advances yeah i think nine square nine square advances number one seed takes over the eight seed next debate we have dodgeball which there are many variations that we play to dodgeball and there is a uh, flickle, or if we say flickle, it's Ben says flicker ball, right? Now flicker ball, flicker ball is like ultimate frisbee with a football, with basketball mixed in. This is a fun, this is a fun game. Flicker ball is a lot of fun. Uh, as fun as flicker ball is, dodgeball is, has stood the test of time. That's a really fun one too. It's a classic and it, we have some extra incentive. I, I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but there is nothing like letting out like all of your frustrations and all those other emotions on hitting high school, middle school students with like rubber balls. There's just, there's, yeah, there's like it. As a youth pastor, it's okay to beat up on kids. Yeah, as youth, right. as, no, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, don't, don't clip just that audio. That, but it is, in, there's a lot of enjoyment. Just quote that. Part. And just, you know, being able to, you know, drill someone with a ball. Right now, for some of you, Dodgeball is not going to advance in your own. If you were here debating, because a lot of you have, you're the like the headshot magnet 
Like we've played dodgeball multiple times, and there's a student. I won't say her name, but it, it never fails. Anytime we it's play the game, time. she gets hits in the face. She gets hit in the face every time. I like dodgeball in this because flicker ball is a game where a lot of the guys tend to ignore the girls. That's true. They don't. They don't pass it to everybody. You have to have some some type of basketball skill involved. Maybe a little. Anybody can play dodgeball though. And even with the dodgeball game, when we play every man for themselves dodgeball. Like that's that's a that's a and there's time. a spot for everybody. I remember. Okay, I have something to admit to you guys. In like middle school, I did not believe in my arm, which I now know that it's like a noodle. So <laughs> can't throw it. You got a candy arm. But I still try. All right, I intimidate people with my size, which I'm not that big. No, but you know what I mean. He doesn't scare anybody. But I was afraid to like throw it, so I was the guy who collected. The, the dodge balls for someone else to throw and I was always valuable because like I just got out of the way and didn't get hit. So. And oh and speaking of that, like there's nothing like when there's a whole team and you eliminate. No no there's like a whole team of like you know 15 to 20 people and then there's like one middle school student left or like one person left and that person makes a catch and everyone gets back in like Oh wait, you the mean heroic. Like, you mean like Daisy Anderson? And yeah, when, uh, Quest when, versus like two years ago, game. three years ago, when Daisy Anderson was in Quest, still right. Shout out to the old days, and Daisy caught it, and then she came back and beat Venture all by herself. But Daisy, you're in Venture now. The did, Quest days are over. Do you remember the embarrassing part of that story? There's a lot of embarrassing parts. Do you know the person who came back in when she caught it? You. And I got out. Yes. Instantly. Yeah, you were out instantly. Oh, but gosh. I think. The dynamics of dodgeball, my opinion, if it was my choice, I'd say number two dodgeball seed advances. Flicker ball gets an honorable mention. Alright, send them up. We on. agree, number two, dodgeball advances. Alright, third matchup. Oof. Castle Ball versus Ultimate Frisbee. Castle Ball is a lot of fun. I think it was invented when we were in school. Another one that was invented when we were in school. Um, it's unique. It's a lot like dodgeball, it's something different. But I'm a sucker for Ultimate Frisbee, and yeah. like that can be played outside. I guess I guess you could do Castle Ball, but like it'd be tougher. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go with Ultimate Frisbee. Yeah, so here Castle Ball is fun. I love if you guys know me, I love Castle Ball, and it's because of the dynamic of you have to be able to rebuild the castles, and you have to be able to like protect the castles and get other people out. There's a lot going on in the game, but. I find so much enjoyment in Ultimate Frisbee. Ultimate Frisbee is a classic, right? And there's a lot of teamwork that has to happen in Ultimate Frisbee. So I if, you, if you try all the long shots, it's probably not gonna work. Yeah, uh, short passes is where it's at. My vote, number 60. First you know upset, what? first upset of the day is what I, I agree, saying. but you know what they need to make? Airbud 29, no. Ultimate Frisbee. No, we're not. Airbud would Air be Bud natural. Movies. A dog would be natural at catching the a The Airbud movies are easily the worst movies to ever be made. It there's no word that in the rules. There's, there's nowhere no in the rules that says the dog can't play basketball. And there's nowhere in the Send rules. Send him on, underdog. The underdog, dog, Air Ultimate Bud. Frisbee advances. Here we go. This is going to be a, cl a, a very close, a close discussion here. Uh, this okay. is where it could get heated. The number four seed kickball. Which has many variations. First, number five, capture the flag or capture the ball. This is a fantastic conversation. Capture the flag is great. Great game. You know, it takes speed, agility. You got to be sneaky. So many different aspects. Something to be said about that. But kickball, it like kickball takes us back to like recess days. Like you're in elementary school. Yeah, you're playing kickball. Those were the days. Do you know what I used to do? Steel toe boots. I'd wear those. You are not. That is kickball. not the truth. Yes, it is. That's and like, to be honest, it didn't. Cheater. It, no, it didn't help. It didn't help. That's cheating. And you know what? I, I love. Yeah, we got a weak. You got a weak noodle arm for dodgeball. That's and right. you got a weak Steel leg. Toe. You got a weak leg when it comes to. I just thought it would help, but man, I thought it was pretty smart. Oh no, man. Okay, so here's the thing with kickball too, right? Like. We play unique versions of it in the gym. We do. Where if you hit the and ceiling, the ceiling, the ceiling is an automatic out because we've had so many of you who you just think you're big studs. You come up there with everything. No, you're not. You use, you cheat with steel toe shoes. You come that up was there back in the day. and you kick it as hard as you can and it hits the ceiling, automatic out. So there's a lot of precision with kickball too. 
I, in my opinion, if I had to vote on this right now, number four seed kickball advances. Because I love a good couples kickball where you got to hold hands with somebody. We're not going to hold hands because coronavirus, right? Social distancing. But you have to stay locked with somebody the whole time. That's a lot of fun too. Or crazy kickball where first base is over here, second base is over there. Like, I love variations of kickball. Capture the flag, although fun, too much running involved for me. Too much running. I think it's the closest match yet, and literally it is, between a four and a five seed, but the uh, the school classic, the schoolyard classic kickball advances. First round is made. Now we go on to the semifinals. Uh, we have four more games close to the end here. Let's debate the first one. First one, the top seed advancing nine square in the air, first number four seed kickball, left side of the bracket. Here we go, what do you think, Ben, what do you got? This is the toughest one yet. Little uh, premonition here. This this match will decide the whole thing. You think the winner of this will win it all? I do. And I <sighs> number two, dodgeball still yet to be. That's debated. true. That's true. Okay. I love kickball. It is so much fun. It's a classic. But you think of our students, and you think of how fun it is to get together and play nine square. It's for everybody. It's the one seat for a reason. Nine but square. there's a lot of standing in nine square. Right? If you get in a nine square, why do you think why do you think I love it so much? You like just standing around. If you get in a nine square though, right, and you get out, like you could be standing in line and just doing it's stand worth it. It's so fun so much fun to watch. You know, if if you're not an active part of kickball, it's not as not as much fun to watch, it's still fun. Nine square is as much as I hate just standing around, I think there's a lot of truth with the kickball. Like kickball's good. It's a very good game. I I don't hate it. But I don't like it as much as I like nine square. Number one seed nine square advances. Next matchup. This is a think this is a wash. I think this is this isn't even close. Like even though our number six seed ultimate frisbee advanced, like okay Cinderella story you advanced. I think dodgeball is has been a popular game for decades for a reason. Wow, I thought you were gonna pick six. So you're no, picking dodgeball. I, I don't think ultimate frisbee. Even though it's fun, dodgeball. Like these kids have parents who are watching right now, and they like they love dodgeball too. Like the parents love dodgeball. Sometimes they get to be part of it. Nothing more need be said. Number two, dodgeball advances. All right, so now that moves us on to our finals for all the marbles. For all the marbles, Ben and Nate discuss episode number one. Number one nine square. Number two dodgeball. Now we want you guys to comment. Comment in the section, in the, in the below, the section, whatever they're down there. Comment if you agree with our decision. We're gonna, we're gonna have a discussion here. It was terrible. What? For as much as it's a debate, we've agreed with everything so far. Yeah, we've agreed, but this might not I, be I the case. I think it could be different. Okay, so I, I have my decision on this, like okay. already mapped out. Okay. I, I have. Then I'll let you go first. What I think. There is no doubt in my mind, number two dodgeball is the best youth group game ever. Nine square is still relatively new. Like nine square is expensive. There's a lot of youth groups and like youth pastors who see or watching this video or whatever. You you don't have nine square because it's expensive. Any youth group can play dodgeball. I think number two dodgeball is the best game simply because like anybody can play it. It's fun to hit your friends with a ball. Like that's a lot of fun. Even though it's not fun to get hit in the face, I think dodgeball takes the kick easily. You know what? I love dodgeball, and if I was speaking for just myself, I would agree. But I'm trying to think of our our students and no, as a whole. That's and I'm selfish. I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to go there. And nine square is the every man's game. Like everybody likes it. No, it's not everybody's favorite, but like there are people who either love dodgeball or people who just don't like it. Nine square, it's like everybody likes it. You know, it's like vanilla ice cream. You can't go wrong. It's the, it's the... You can go wrong with vanilla ice cream if you're lactose intolerant. For the first time, we're gonna need a tiebreaker. Special guest, everyone's favorite person. She says she looks like a bum. I think she's gorgeous. Everyone welcome to the stage, Miss Katie Fox. Yeah, special guest Katie, here, have to take it. You get to pick what you say is final. Ben says nine square, I say dodgeball. What do you think? No pressure, it could just determine the rest of your like, life. Which game is the which best? Which game do you think is the top youth group. youth group game of all time? Go ahead. I'm gonna go with nine square because I've gotten hit in the face plenty of times with dodgeballs. And that doesn't happen in nine square to me anyway. 
So I'm gonna say nine squared. Nine squared. Carl the Lorax. She speaks for the people. Ben, not okay. You just broke all social distancing laws. Go. Excuse me. They have to go wash their hands. Ben, come back. We have to set the show to an outro. As we saw, number one, nine square, decided by Katie and Ben is the top youth group game. Students, this has been episode number one of Ben and Nate Discuss. Uh, we will have one of these hopefully every Monday. Next week, though, we'll give you guys a teaser. Next week. Should we tell them what it is? No. No, we're not going to tell you what it is. No. Look forward next Monday. We're going to have another one of these videos. It's going to be amazing. We'll see you guys then. Click like, share the video, comment below. Miss you guys. Love you guys.